Hello, my name is Courtney Swain, and I will be discussing the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase, otherwise known as TPI. TPI is a catalytic enzyme involved in the fifth step of glycolysis. It is considered a catalytically perfect enzyme because for every encounter it has with a substrate, it's, a product will be formed. TPI is so efficient that the reaction rate is limited by how quickly the molecules can get to the enzyme. TPI is a dimer, meaning it is composed of two identical subunits, each composed of about 250 amino acids. TPI is responsible for catalyzing the reaction of dihydroxoacetone phosphate, or DHAP, and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, or G3P. These two substrates are isomers of one another and are able to be interconverted by TPI. Within the active site of TPI, key enzymes glutamic acid 165 and histidine 95 are responsible for this isomerization reaction, which relies on a rather simple acid-base mediated mechanism. First, glutamic acid 165 acts as a base and abstracts a proton from the C1 carbon of DHAP. Next, histidine 95 acts as a general acid and donates a proton to the C2 carbonyl oxygen. And what is called an endyle intermediate is formed. In the next step, glutamate 165 donates a proton and histidine 95 abstracts a proton from the C1 hydroxyl group. This effectively collapses the endyle intermediate and the G3P product isomer is formed. From there, the G3P is able to effectively enter the next step in the glycolytic pathway. The same reaction takes place in reverse, proceeding with the same endyle intermediate. With either product forming, both active site residues are completely returned to their original forms and the enzyme is flawlessly regenerated. It is because of this unique enzyme that the glycolytic pathway will continue with two molecules of a single isomer and ensures that at this step in glycolysis there is a net energy investment gain. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.